My name is Itesh Pariani. I'm the medical director for radiation medicine here at St. Joseph's Hospital. Our center was one of the first centers in the area to offer low-dose radiation for inflammatory or benign conditions. Um, interestingly, these, this type of radiation has been used for over 110 years. It was actually very popular in the United States up until the late 1970s, early 1980s. At that time, we discovered opioid pain medicine. So a lot of pain management moved to pain medication. Uh, as you probably are aware, um, we started to learn that there are a lot of long-term risks with these medications. And now, um, nationally, we're starting to look for better alternatives to manage pain. And when I say pain, I mean inflammatory conditions like arthritis, plated dark fasciitis, tennis elbow, bursitis, a lot of things that kind of just become uh, very common as we get older through uh, and through more use. Um, and low-dose radiation uh, is a very effective way to treat these conditions with really limited to no side effects. Uh, the standard course of therapy involves at least six 15-minute radiation treatments. During those treatments, there's no pain, no knives, no needles. It's like getting an X-ray or a CAT scan. It doesn't hurt. It's not painful. And we actually see about an 80% response rate. Um, and so what I tell patients is the biggest thing you have to lose is your time. Uh, but there's a very good chance that you'll have a very good response. Um, and again, there's a lot of evidence to support its use. Uh, in Germany, over, uh, the average radiation oncologist actually treats about 40% of their patients for non-cancerous conditions, which usually translates to a couple hundred patients a month. Um, there are over a million courses of treatment delivered in Germany every year for this these types of conditions. And again, the response rates are truly amazing. Uh, one of the best parts too, is that this treatment is fully covered by medical insurance. So we're able to offer it to really almost anybody who needs it. So I entered radiation therapy because it was actually the family business. My grandfather was a radiation oncologist and so was my uncle. Um, and so for me, I kind of grew up around the radiation clinic and it's kind of exciting to me that the field is coming back to sort of uh, a lot of the techniques that my grandfather used to use to treat these non cancerous conditions. You know, when he entered the field, it wasn't called radiation oncology, it was called radiation therapy because so much of what we treated was not cancerous. And again, we're heading in that direction, uh, kind of coming full circle. Um, I actually found out about benign radiation, uh, radiation for inflammatory conditions because I myself developed Achilles tendonitis. I went through about a year's worth of other therapies, physical therapy, injections, none of which really worked. Um, I found out about low dose radiation and actually had my partner perform it on me. Um, and that's how I became a believer. It really changed my life. I'm back to full physical activity. Um, you know, you could ask my staff here. I was lifting around the clinic for almost a year. Uh, and so when I saw how beneficial this can truly be, it uh, sort of ignited a passion at me to really spread the word and try to get this therapy out to as many folks as possible. I think this is going to be really kind of one of the, in the next five years, we're going to see that low dose radiation as one of the mainstays in the management of inflammatory pain conditions. Radiation has been proven to be an anti-inflammatory treatment. And again, proven to be a very cost-effective and low side effect treatment. So I think what's, what we're going to see in the Tampa Bay area is many more patients availing themselves with these treatments to be able to live more active, healthier, and more functional lives.